welcome to my channel in this video we are told to reproduce the figure at the right hand side of the screen and we are going to be applying the principle of tangency in order to replicate that diagram you see there so the first thing you have to do is you look at um, the figure closely discover that we have two centers this center and that center so let me just name it center a and center b now the distance between the two centers is given to be what 178 but the actual position is that what we should use half the dimension so i'm going to divide that 178 by 2 and that will give me what 89 so what i'm simply going to do is first of all i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way right i'll draw an horizontal line this way see that so on that horizontal line i'm going to pick a point let's see i am picking this point here this way right that point i'm picking will be my point a so on that point i'm going to place my c square on that point where i'm going to draw a vertical line first of all i'm using my faint line i'm using the faint line Now the next thing is from that point A, I'm going to measure 89 away from that point to get my point B. So from here, I'm going to measure 89. From 0, this is 80 and this is 89. This are this point here. So that point will be my point B. Now move my T square to that point. And I'm going to draw another horizontal line so this is the first point and that is the second point now if you look at this figure very well discover that the diameter of this curve that is here is given to be that means from here to here is diameter and given to be what 90 so actually that will be seen that diameter of 90 as diameter of 45 because we are using half the distance half the dimension so diameter of 45 means 22.5 so i'm going to take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 22.5 on my meter rule so from here this is um 20 21 22 22.5 somewhere around here and i'll place it at the center here right where i'm going to draw a circle but faint line this way you can see that I use the faint line to draw the circle. Now the next thing I'm going to draw is the other bigger circle. If you notice, if you look from this point to this point, it's going to be 22, right? So I'm going to measure 22 away from the center. Don't forget, I'm using half of the distances, so that will be 11. So I'll measure 11 away from these distances. So let me call that my point 11, which is from here to here. I'll call it probably my point C. Is that the key now? So for point C now is another center of a circle. So I might simply just draw a line there to locate that the other center of a circle this way. Paint line first. So that point here will be another center of a circle. And that center of the circle to this point here is given as radius 90. So since I'm using half of the distance, I will using 45. I'm going to measure 45 on my meter rule from 0. This is 45 here, all right? And I'll place it at that center here. That again, place it at that center there. And I'm going to draw an arc this way. And then a circle this way, faint line. You can see that? So let me take it up a little bit so you can have a view of it. That is what we have there. Now the next thing that we are going to do here is that if you look that from this center, from this point here, right, to the other arc here, 
it is given to be what the radius 45 so what i'm simply trying to see is that i'm going to measure 45 on my meter rule at 22.5 that again i know very well that from here to here is 22.5 as i measured earlier so they're telling me that from this point to the next point is 22.5 this is the point that I'm pointing here, right? Then again, the same to 2.5 from this point again to the next point is another 22.5 somewhere around here. So let me just extend that so we have a good view of it. You can see that. So these are the two points that we have. That means this point and that point. The first point you're seeing, which is what my arrow is pointing, I will take radius from here to here, which is 45, as given there. I'll place it this way. You can see that. And I'm going to draw a circle. That's a circle. I'll go to the other point too, also, this way. I'm going to draw the next circle. You can see that. Now, can you see what I'm seeing? From here, if I should take in it to this point here, onto the other point too, if I should take in it from here to here. Then the other one is so small that given as radius 6, which is 3, is too small. So I'll simply just use my hand to close it up. You can see that. Now the next one we're doing is uh, from here. So we'll just stop here and we'll move to the next level. At the top here, is another circle which is giving us the radius of what the diameter of 90 which is like saying diameter of 45 because we're using half of the um dimension there so half of it to give us what 22.5 right so similarly it's the same dimension as this you measure 22.5 on your meter rule which is the same thing as this and you place it at this point here you place it at this point here points B and you just draw a line since it's fully thickened I'm going to thicken it this way you can see that then the one inside the diameter of 45 which I will use the half of it which will be what 22.5 so the diameter of 22.5 is 11.25 I'm going to measure 11.25 on my meter rule from 0 this is 10, this is 11.25, somewhere around here. And now place it on my, I'm going to draw a circle. You can see that? And after that, the next thing that we are going to do here, is you look closely, this point to this point is connected with a straight line, but they are tangent to each other. So I'm going to take my meter rule, right and i'm going to draw them tangent to each other so this to this they are tangent to each other you can see that so i'm going to join them together you must be very watchful so you are doing that it means that from here straight down at this point is tangent to each other right so i can actually cover it up with my metal rule, my compass, actually cover your can see that is off. Then the other one from this center, it is tangential to this point, right. But here is a curve. So what I'm going to do to make it easier for me is that 
I'm going to connect these two points, which is transition to each other, as shown in the in the question, towards the center here. But I'll make here to be faint, right? Here to be faint, and I'll just stick in the metal here. You can see that I intentionally leave here to be faint because of it is a curve that is located here. This room in the diagram, and I will just complete this on the other center here, center C. Place my compass at that point and I will extend it to this point here. You can see that you must be very careful when dealing with things like this. You can see, so we've done that aspect. Now the next one is this point here. Now if you look at the diagram very well, I told you whenever the circle, the arc is going in, it means it's external and you're going to add. Right? You're going to do what? You're going to add. So if I add 32, which I'm going to be using the half, that will be what? 16. With the diameter of the circle that it is touching, which is what? Which is um 90 half of it is what is 45 so i'm, I'm adding 16 with 22.5 right so 16 plus 22.5 that'll give us 38.5 i'm going to measure 38.5 on my meter rule this way 38.5 this is 30 38.5 is somewhere around here almost close to nine right almost close to 9 here and I'll place it at the center here center B right and I'm going to strike an arc just like this you can see that now the next thing is since the other point doesn't have a circle right there's no circle it's just um, the radius of what we just have a radius of 16 so we assume the circle is 0 is that again so I'm going to draw a parallel line to this line here a parallel line to this line using that same radius of what 32 that means we're using half of it which is what 16 so i'm going to measure 16 on my meter rule from zero this is 15 this 16 here and i'll place it at this point here right or better still i can do it this way to get a parallel line i'm going to just uh, place my compass this way this is my rule right if i place it this way this way I can just get a vertical line if i want to you can see that i'll do it in two different points so i've got in two different points so on that point i'm going to measure 16 on those points here so from here From here, this is 16 here, right? It means from here to here 16. This 16. That will come here also. It's another 16. And then I'll now use my rule to draw a parallel line to that point. Just faint line. Is another way of doing it, right? I'll just draw a parallel line this way. That means that this line to this line is what is parallel to each other. So what do you notice? Where that line cuts this point here, that will be the center of another circle. Right? So I'll place my compass here, this point, and I'll get it to this point where I'm going to draw my arc. You can see that? From here, you must gauge it. Make sure that you gauge the line. Like 
right then you just take your meter rule you put it up so the point from here to this point here you're giving us what the radius of what of 32 the way in half of it is half of the size right and the uh, radius of here to here is 90 on this point so down to this point given to be what 90 so we have um, radius of 90 then the distance from here to here is given as 11 which is 22 now from here to this point here is going to be 45 from here to this point we have um, with this of what 45 and from here to here we have the radius of what another what 45 right then this you have here we have it to be from here to here We're giving us um, the radius of 90 diameter of 90 sorry diameter of what 90 now we have this then you use a center line which is important you can just use this from a center line okay, we are just replicating everything that we have so from here long short long short long short long short long short long short long then close it up also we have the long one short and also here too do the same thing Then from this point straight down to this point. Given to be one seventy nine. Yeah. One seventy nine. And um that is what we have. Right? If you want to put this, this is even as a ninety. Diameter what ninety then diameter forty five diameter forty five so we have uh, successfully replicated this diagram so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, share, and comment.